I love strategic thinking. I love that type of creative thinking of really trying to figure out the numbers and putting puzzle pieces together. And that's, that's what it is. Welcome back to Four Entrepreneurs by Entrepreneurs. I am Eric Verdi, episode 20. This week with us is Caitlin Strimple with Rising Ranks Digital. So Caitlin's actually, we've got people, we've had from New Zealand, Australia, New York, California. So Caitlin's actually from Arizona. Um, her superpower is one that I've been looking for through these first 20 episodes to find somebody. Um, we all know how important it is to rank high when people do Google searches. Uh, or go and, and look for your company, look for your online presence online. So Caitlin's superpower is SEO and getting companies, getting entrepreneurs, getting business owners ranked high in SEO. So Caitlin, and she's, uh, she's a mother of one. We're, we're having this interview for, during the pandemic, which I always think, think it's important to uh, <laughs> add family in there. Um, so Caitlin, give us, give us your backstory, okay? Yeah, well, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So backstory, I have always been in marketing. Um, it's what I went to school for. I graduated with a degree in advertising, went straight into the ad agency world, um, bopped around from you know startup agencies all the way to larger companies like Under Armour, um, G. And um, it was one of those things where I, I loved where I was. I was always with a great company. I loved who I worked with, but I always had that itch for more. And at the time, I never really knew what it was. Um, so I, I was essentially in the corporate world, so to say, for um, about over a decade. And um, really got into, probably in the third year of my career, I went to go to a startup um, who was at the time partners with Yahoo, and I really got into the SEO and the Google, Google marketing, and I eventually um, transferred over to Yahoo. So that's kind of where I got my start with SEO, where I got my start. You were start at Yahoo? Start. Yes, yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I've been around, I've been, I've bopped around from Phoenix, LA, New York. Uh, we're back in Phoenix, back to the hometown, so really happy to be here. And um, so we moved here about four years ago, um, had our son Wyatt, and two months into having him, we found ourselves um, rushing him to the hospital for a heart procedure, heart surgery. Um, so it was at that point in time, I mean, it was a crazy, crazy happening um, in and out of the hospital for a few months. He is totally fine now, totally happy and healthy, but it put a lot into perspective for me. And for anyone who knows what it's like to grow up um, in the agency world, in the marketing world, it is long hours, it is hard work, and you are praised for pulling all-nighters and for essentially just working yourself to the bone. And at that point, um, I, I knew that I didn't want to go back to that. So shortly after, we kind of got our lives back together and... Um, you know, we had Wyatt home and everyone was happy and healthy and back on track. We, that's when I decided to just essentially go full steam ahead with starting and running my own business. Um, so we have been up and running for about three years now. And it's interesting because um, I started with all the things digital. I wanted to do social media. I wanted to do everything. And I quickly realized that there's lots of stuff that I don't like and also stuff that I'm probably not as good at. Um, but I, I always came back to the SEO side of things because that's just, I ended up really loving it. And it really, there is a need for it in the marketplace. Um, it's a lot, it's very untapped and there, there's, um, it was hard to find at least, you know, from my findings and the current clients that I have now to find a reputable SEO agency that you know what they're doing, that you understand what they're doing and that they're transparent with you. So that's kind of where uh, we pivoted and done really well with it. I think that's awesome because two of my last three interviews have been uh, about niche marketing. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, we all kind of have our, our avatar of, of the perfect client that we want, the ideal client. And then when we get into business, we're like, shit, you know, I need to make money. Like, let me just throw a net out there and see who wants to work with me. 
And although you might think that is a good way to, to start a business, it's, you know, yes, we all have to make money in the beginning, but if you know who your ideal customer is, you can talk directly to that person. And Absolutely. when you can talk and speak to that person, you're like, yes, you solve this exact problem that I have. Um, I mean, I think you're, I think you're exactly right. If you stick with SEO, yeah, you might be able to have a Facebook ads person that you can kind of bring in and consult with if to do overall. Uh, okay. But if you're the SEO specialist, people will seek you out because you are that specialist, right? Yes. Yeah. And that's exactly what I found is once I did actually niche down, um, people were coming to me way more frequently. And also a lot of people also don't pay attention. So I was still getting other inquiries for other things that I did too, which was also getting me more clients, which, you know, we, we didn't take on, but it just goes to show that, you know, the more specific you are with your marketing, you know, you're going to be that big fish in a small pond versus, you know, a small fish in a big pond. Exactly. Um, so I, I see this in my world every day. You know, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is, is real estate. And I had a agent that wanted to come uh, to me recently. I was like, well, I want to do this and this, and can we do discount? And we, can we do this and this? I was like, no, no, we're doing what we've done for years, which is deliver a boutique service. Like we might do a lot more than other agencies, but people find us and seek us out because we will go that extra step. We will pay 10 or 15 or $20,000 to help a seller renovate a property. Um, no, we're not charging a discounted fee because that's not our style and people seek us out because of what we do. So very smart of you to find your niche and kind of stick in that lane. I'm, I'm, that's awesome. Good for you. Yeah. Thanks. How, so how did you find this SEO superpower of yours? <laughs> um, it, it came when I started working with a local agency here called Yodel. And I, I was very familiar with the online space, um, but it was really my first encounter with anything Google ads related, uh, Google ads or, um, you know, SEO or anything organic. And I got full on trained in it. And um, that's really when the shift happened from kind of general marketing to very specific digital marketing. And I, I just fell in love with it for a few reasons, um, mostly because it is, you can measure it really easily. It's something that you can see the numbers. You can make a tweak on your website and then a week later know if it worked or not. Um, it also is, I wouldn't say I'm a very creative person, like in regards to like visually and like developing creative, but um, I love strategic thinking. I love that type of creative thinking of really trying to figure out the numbers and putting puzzle pieces together. And that's, that's what it is. You know, you're just doing a bunch of testing and tweaking and optimizing. And I, and I fell in love with it um, really like right away. So SEO is something that I've always kind of, I know maybe about 6% of everything. I know it just <laughs> enough to know kind of what I'm talking about. I don't even know enough to be dangerous. Do you mind sharing um, with us, uh, you know, what you kind of look at on your end as a specialist, as an expert, um, if you want to share your screen with us and then yeah, kind yeah, of go, go into that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I guess first and foremost, just if nobody's picked this up yet, is that SEO is essentially getting your website to the top of search en engines, to the top of Google. So when somebody types in keyword into Google, when you know you go and you type your search, um, that means that that person wants your service or your product or your offering, whatever it is. And you need to make sure you're showing up for them. If you're not showing up, then your competitors are going to take your spot. And so SEO is optimizing your website on and off of your website. So Google understands what your website's about, um, knows and sees that you're credible. And it can be like, oh, this person on Google is, you know, searching for this keyword. This keyword is linking to this site. And this website looks credible to us. We're going to put it up in front. So right. that's kind of like the back end process. So uh, let me share my screen. The first step I always say in getting into involved in SEO and starting to optimize for your website is to get set up. So you've probably heard of um, search analytics, Google analytics as well. And then there's also a second free platform from Google and it's called Google search console. So those can easily be connected to your website. You can Google it and it, you know, is very easy. Um, what Google Analytics does is it shows you where your traffic's coming from and how it's converting. Google Search Console is essentially showing you how you're ranking on Google. So that's the first step that I like 
people to take when they start their own SEO. Mm -hmm. um, without it, you're essentially flying an airplane without a dashboard. You know, you're not, so that's where you can go make the changes and you can go back and actually see the analytics and see how your website is, is doing with those changes and how it's ranking. And it gives you stepping stones and ways to know um, your next moves. So the second piece, um, doing your keyword research. So this, I'm going to share my screen now. Perfect. So guys, if, if you're listening to this interview, uh, we will host, we will have the video up on YouTube and then also up on our Facebook page for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs with Eric Verdi. So pop one over. We are about nine minutes in the interview. So tune in. All right. So go, go ahead. Yes. Yeah. All right. So or, can you, can you see, um, yep. Nichelle? okay, perfect. So this is a free keyword research tool. Um, it's called Uber suggest. Um, you can see, let me see, well, I guess I don't really have it, but it's U-B-E-R-S-U-G-G-E-S-T. If you Google that, it'll be the first thing to pop up. It's a free tool by Neil Patel, um, and it's, it's the easiest thing to use. So you want to make sure that you are tagging your website with keywords. So again, going back to what people are searching into Google, but how do you know which keywords are the best for you? So this tool is essentially going to help you. Um, so, you know, maybe you're, I put in here ahead of time, digital marketing agency to see what that, what that looks like. So you're going to type in a keyword. Maybe you have a list of keywords, um, and you're just going to see how it, how easy or hard it will be to rank. And if it's going to be really hard, then you probably don't want to start optimizing for that, at least not right away. If it's easy and there's search volume, that is a green light to use that as a keyword on one of your pages. So you can see here, um, it gives you a search volume, which is high, which is great. SEO difficulty, um, pay difficulty, which is awesome, and cost per click. So if you were to actually pay for ads on Google, it would cost you $19 to have one person click on that ad to your website. And, um, you know, obviously with SEO, it's free. You know, so you earn your way versus paying your way to the top. So if you scroll down, um, this is, this is search difficulty. So this is SEO. So these are all green. Green means good. <laughs> um, so you want to make so sure is, that you, is, is search difficulty higher or lower, better? Uh, the lower, the better. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you can see right here paid is, is 45. So it's going to be harder to actually even rank on paid than it is for SEO for organic. Um, and then you always want to make sure like, yes, it's green, but um, these actually all have great search volume and it is going to kind of, um, it is kind of arbitrary depending on how wide of a net you're casting geographically mm -hmm. and just in general, how many people are searching for your keywords. Um, but digital marketing agency would be a great one. Um, so you want to do this and you want to make sure you are assigning one keyword to each page of your website. Um, one keyword really? plus yeah. So, I mean, you can do a few on the same page, but they should be pretty similar. So digital marketing agency, marketing agency, SEO agency, like I can essentially put those all, all as one. Um, and you want to make sure that you really focus in those keywords on one page and then you can go to your services pages. So maybe you have Facebook ads, um, maybe you offer Google ads and each service page should have its, have its own keyword. When you start doing it, when you start putting the same keyword on every single page, you're going to start cannibalizing each other's ranks. So mm -hmm. that, that's a big one is when you want to make sure that you are mapping out. So like this page, my homepage is getting this, my about page, you know, maybe it's SEO specialist, or maybe it's just your name. Um, and then your services pages are going to be a lot more specific. Awesome. Yeah. So that's the gist of. So how ranking. do you, how do you get rank, have better rankings? Like when you, okay, so I'm a, I'm a company. So let's go through this scenario. Yep. Uh, company come to you, you know, first you probably do a diagnostics assessment. Like what are, what are the steps when you hire a new entrepreneur? Do you do what like large businesses, medium size, small? We've actually run the gamut on it. We've done everything from international enterprises um, to local businesses. And each one has its unique, specific, you know, pros and cons okay. <laughs> and, and problems. So, um, but it, essentially the overall gist is the same. So we go in, we'll do an audit, um, we'll check out your website health. But where you start is after you get these 
do the keyword research. Now you have to put the keywords on your website. So there's different ways that you can do this. And um, the, the main basic ways is gonna be your title tags. So that is when you search in Google and um, you, know, you see those little blue links that pop up that click out to the website, that's mm -hmm. a title tag. Okay. And if you go into any website builder, wherever your website is built, um, go to the page settings and there will be an area that says, you know, page title or title tag or something along the lines. There will also be in the same area, something called like either meta description or page description. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the, the little blurb underneath the blue link on Google. So okay. you want to make sure you're putting keywords in both of those places, the title tag and the meta description. The title tag is probably going to be the most potent way to un have Google understand what your website is about or that web page in particular. Okay. Again, um, because each page is going to have a different keyword that you're trying to rank for, you want to make sure all the title tags are different on every page and every meta description is different on every page. So the title tag is essentially, you know, the headline. It's like the billboard of your company. Um, you want to make sure the keyword is at the very beginning. And then, um, you know, you can put, it, it's different, but you can put, you know, your location if you're trying to rank locally, or you can put, you know, your business name at the end, but you always want to make sure your keyword is at the beginning okay. um, because Google puts more weight on the keywords at the beginning. The meta description is going to be a lot more on brand and a lot more fun if that is your brand. And it's going to be um, more of like the connecting piece and trying to pique people's interest and actually get them to click through to your website. So you want the keyword in there, but it doesn't have to be like at the very front to make sure that you're still aligned with your brand. Do you have different strategies for mobile versus um, desktop or, on, or not non-mobile? Um, you can typically mobile is going to be shorter, but I always try to keep them pretty succinct and short. So um, you want to make sure that you it's about 55 characters for your title tag okay. and then 100, 150 for your meta description. And that should kind of take out both. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and this is an awesome interview. I, I, I love, I love kind of nerding out on this, even though I'm under, under understanding about quor a quarter of what you're saying, you know, you definitely know what you're talking about. So are you teaching this to anyone or do you have clients or how does this work? Like if yeah. I came to, if I came to you, is our relationship a, a client relationship or is our relationship like a, a or would you teach me to do this? It is mostly going to be, we're going to do it for you. We okay. do have an SEO course though that comes with like a Slack channel and our, our team is in there and helping with any questions. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And um, how long, just, I'm curious now, just on a business aspect, how long do uh, businesses typically work with you? Do they hire you for a one-time thing? Do they have ongoing? So we have, um, there's, there's two ways. So we have a website audit where we'll, we'll go in and we'll do the audit and we'll create a priority list for you to get done mm -hmm. and essentially a, an SEO strategy. Um, so that will be a one-time fee. And that is really for companies or businesses who either have a team that it can implement for them or the business owner themselves feels very comfortable within their website CMS, their website builder, uh, whether it's Wix, WordPress or anything. And um, we'll pass it off and we'll obviously, you know, train on how to get that up into the website and things like that. Um, so there's that aspect and that's just kind of like a one-time fee. Um, it takes us two weeks and then we have a training at the end and, you know, we pass off this whole packet of, you know, information and next steps for you. Um, in regards to, you know, us coming on as an agency, it's a four-month minimum um, because SEO, again, is, is earning your spot. Um, and, right. you know, once you're at the top though, which is great, you can back off and the traffic still comes. So at paid ads, the difference is, is that you get traffic right away. Um, you bring, you can get traffic right away. You can get, you know, paid clients right away. But as soon as you stop paying the ads, you disappear. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, they're both great. You know, you, you want both of them, um, but they work together nicely. One's just short term and one, one's long term. So we focus on a minimum of four months. Clients are usually around at least for six months, um, just because people get addicted to seeing their website, their website rank going up and going up and getting like more keywords up. Um, it's really, it's really fun and exciting to see. Awesome. So, Caitlin, how would listeners, viewers find you, learn more about you, get in contact with you? Yeah, I, I hope, I hope they could Google you, right? 
They better be yeah. able to Google you and find you. Caitlin Strempel, <laughs> yeah. Caitlin Strempel. Um, and then, so we just launched a new website. We recently um, changed our name, formerly CRS Digital Marketing. Now it's Rising Ranks Digital. So you can okay. go to risingranksdigital.com. Or you can find me on Instagram at Caitlin Strempel, C-A-I-T-L-I-N-S-T-R-E, M as in Mary, P as in Paul, E-L. So that's, um, I'm on both of those, both of those places, <laughs> blogs, posts, all that good stuff. Awesome. Listeners, viewers, hope you enjoyed Caitlin Strempel with Rising Ranks Digital, her niche, her superpower of SEO marketing. Um, I know I learned a lot today. Caitlin, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. I pr- I'm so happy to meet you. And uh, you know, welcome to Four Entrepreneurs by Entrepreneurs, episode 20. And we are out.